It is 7 o'clock. We do have a uh, quorum. I'll call the workshop, I mean, excuse me, the council meeting to order. Uh, first item on the agenda is the uh, 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 invocation given by Mayor <coughs> Pro Tem Durham and then the pledges, both American and Texas flags, led by myself. If you would join me in a moment of silence. Thank you. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. Councilman Gilmore, would you? No, we're no, not. We mayor. Would you, you like to join me down at the podium, please, sir? Thank you, Mayor. So we're voting for this. Once again, tonight we're here to make a special presentation to some of our outstanding youth in our community. And these are actually students from Louisville High School. And uh, we try to do that as often as we can. We ask the high school to give us uh, some of the young people and bring us some of the, some of the uh, qualifications that they've made in their achievements and what they've done. So we'd like to recognize them and let our citizens know what a wonderful young youth that we have in our community, which is our future. And with that, I'm going to kind of turn it over to, uh, excuse me, Councilman Gilmore, who noticed this and brought it to our attention and actually requested this to be, to be put on the agenda tonight. So um, I have uh, three children who are in the LHS feeder pattern. Um, my daughter's in middle school and my two boys are just finishing elementary school. And so I get a lot of newsletters and information coming from the feeder pattern, and I'm always interested in seeing what our finer fighting farmers are up to. So. Um, Ms. Squibb actually happens to be on one of my Facebook feeds, and I saw that her team not only got first, they got first and second, and they got first, second, and third. And I was, I was flabbergasted, I was floored, and I was really appreciative that we got great information about a group of kids that weren't just in the sports. Sports is fun, sports is important, but speech, debate, all of those, those thinking skills, I love to see kids be successful at those. So I was really, really excited to see that not only were they, were they winning, like the, and this was repeated, um, six years? 12. 12 years, thank you. So they've, done, they've, they've won this 12 years in a row. So this is something that really um, our fighting farmers do very, very well. So we wanted to make sure to, to recognize you all. So I appreciate you putting that on Facebook. Thank you, Councilman. If you will stand there with me, because what I'd like to do is ask you to come forward as a call your name. And then we'll get an individual picture, and then we'll get a group. If you will stay up here, we'll get a group picture. Okay, if I could have Maritza Lamone, if you please come forward. I hope I pronounced that correctly. Yes. Congratulations. I'm Thank sure you. It's a pleasure to meet you. Thank you. 
Marissa actually won third place, and this is for, we have, we're here, we recognize and honor for outstanding achievements as a Louisville Independent School District in the following name category, Lions Club District 2E2 <coughs> Drug Awareness Speech Contest, third place. You certainly can. Can she, can she use that microphone right there? Oh, yes. I don't think it'll pick up. And I have to hold the button for her.
Thank you. We thank you very much, and we congratulate each one of you. Uh, it's a pleasure each year. I've been able to hear several of you over the years, uh, some of your predecessors over the years, do uh, uh, speaking of the four-way test at our Rotary Clubs, and you all do a wonderful job. And, uh, and so we are actually going to, I believe, have ours this week, this Wednesday. They will be there doing our four-way test presentations. But uh, it's just amazing to see how well these uh, LHS does in contests, not only these, this, in this district, but also nationally. And it's great to see the achievements that they've done. We thank you for the program that you do at LHS. We're very proud of all of you, and thank you very much. <laughs> yes, ma'am. We'll see you Wednesday. <laughs> Next time is the uh, Visitor Citizens Forum. At this time, any person with business before the council not scheduled on the agenda may speak to the council. No formal action can be taken on these items at this meeting. I did have one card filled out. Uh, Terry Broom, if you come forward. Terry, if you just give your name and address for the record, please. I'll try and get through this without being too uh, <clears throat> emotional. You'll do. Uh, Mayor. City manager, council, uh, staff, and citizens, I wanted to come tonight um, and give my uh, sincere gratitude uh, to the fire department and your dispatchers. Um, it's kind of one thing when you're on the same side, but when you become a public, you know, private citizen uh, and need somebody's help, uh, it's, it's a whole different world. Uh, last, you know, I'll be People know me, I'd like to talk, so I'll give you a Paul Harvey side of this. <laughs> Last Thursday evening, um, when I was waiting for my wife to come home from work and take her out to, uh, for Valentine's Day, I was talking to a very dear friend of mine in Waco on the phone, who just, thank God, was a paramedic. Uh, about 6.45, um, while we were talking, I started having some issues. And the gentleman's name is Gary, and Gary started talking to me. It didn't take long to realize that I was in serious problems with some stuttering and speech problems. And so Gary basically told me if I didn't hang up the phone and call the dispatch and the ambulance, that he was going to hang up. And he, he lives in Waco. And I talked to him a couple more minutes, and then when he started asking me my address, I said, Gary, I know where you're going. I'm hanging up the phone. I hung up the phone, got out of my office, walked around the front door, unlocked it, opened it up, and unlocked the glass door and called uh, dispatch, 911. And uh, the young lady on the end, which I'm going to find out her name and thank her personally, uh, kept me talking, kept me uh, very alert as I could be because I was stuttering and stumbling worse than I am now. Uh, until um, the guys from Station 1 arrived, uh, they were able to check me over. I did tell one of them that when they hooked me up to the wires, I said, you're going to show me that I'm having a heart attack. I'm not having a heart attack. That's another issue. After about six, seven minutes, they started talking. It's time to load you up and go. I said my wife was about three or four minutes out. Uh, they allowed her to get there. They followed us uh, to the hospital, emergency room and walked in, told the emergency uh, person on, uh, on duty that I was having a, a stroke. Uh, they were able to work with me very well. Luckily, um, the stroke only affected some of my speech, which I told the therapist, God, I've been speaking this way for 58 years, so <laughs> if that's as bad as it gets. Um, I came out very, very lucky, no paralysis on my left or right side or vision or anything. It's just a little bit of a speech problem, and I can live through that. Uh, but I didn't want to come tonight and thank uh, Tim Tittle's people and your dispatch. I'm going to find out what our name is and thank them because um, after doing this for about 30 years, I've worked on a lot of people that were 10 times worse than what, I, what I've been able to get through. But I do want to thank the council for allowing me to speak tonight. Thank Tim and his group. If I don't leave, I'm going to be a total wreck. 
I do thank you, Council. Well, Terry, before you step down, we want to thank you for all your years of service. And, and while many of us recognize you and know the service that you've given to the community here, I'd like you, you referenced it a little bit in your talk there, but I'd like for everyone else to know the service that you've given this community and what you're referring to in that. Well, Tell us what you've been doing for the last 30 years here in this community. Thank you. I'll be around, but I won't be. You've, you've oh, been wait. in the Louisville Fire Department here for the well, last 30 there. years, you, sir. They're brothers, and they'll always be brothers, but sometimes y'all hear a lot of the bad stuff, and I think it's good that y'all hear some good stuff that they did. And they performed fantastically, and the, the young lady that was dispatching performed excellent because he kept me talking, and I think that's the main reason why I don't have any more paralysis or problems than I do now. But I do appreciate you for allowing me to speak tonight, sir. Well, we thank you for coming, and I want you to know that everybody I've always heard talk about you has said nothing but like you're just a big brother to him. So thank you very much. Thank Terry. you, sir. We truly do have a lot of tremendous team members here that make up this city, it's both on our fire department side, our police side, our water and our sewer and our streets and, and all the management team. And we really do appreciate it because I know living here since 19, uh, uh, 72 and actually in the city limits since 83 I've had several experiences uh, myself as you with my family members here in town my wife my mother and uh, uh, everyone has always responded tremendously and we greatly appreciate all the work that all of you do because it is a team effort here in our city next time is a is the consent agenda all the following items on the consent agenda are considered to be self-explanatory by the council and will be enacted with one motion. There will be no separate discussion of these items unless a council member or citizen so requests for a citizen to request removal of an item. A speaker card must be filled out and submitted to the city secretary. <clears throat> Councilman Gilmore. Move to approve the consent agenda as written. Second. second. We have a motion by Councilman Gilmore to approve the consent agenda as presented and a second by Councilman Vaughn. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Item four is regular hearing consideration of a variance to Louisville City Code Session 6-98 fire protection regarding paved parking on an existing water line easement related to the proposed Dairy Queen at 825 West Main Street as requested by Brian Umberger, PE Texas Development Services on behalf of the developer. The subject site is a 0 0.847 acre lot zone general business within the Valley Ridge Business Park West subdivision. Dairy Queen is leasing the property from Walmart Real Estate Business Trust and is in the process of permitting a new restaurant. Staff has reviewed and approved the engineering site plan for Dairy Queen subject to the City Council approval of the variance regarding construction of a paved parking area on an existing water line easement. Recommendation is that Council approve the variance as set forth in the above caption. Uh, Councilman Grinna. Move to approve as presented. We have Second. a motion by Councilman Grinna to approve as presented. Mayor. We have, yeah. we, have, we have a second by Councilman Durham. Yes, is there any discussion? Yes, sir. Okay. Um, I'd like to modify that, um, that motion. Uh, let me read my recommended um, motion. A move to approve the variance as set forth in the caption above contingent on the property owner reimbursing the city for the additional paving costs on the owner's property that it incurs resulting from the maintenance, repair, or replacement of the city's water line. Mayor, I'd like to uh, modify my motion to reflect uh, Councilman uh, Ferguson's recommendation. And a second. Okay. So we have a amended motion and second. Any further discussion? Do you have anything else? Councilman? No, sir. That's it. Councilman Bond, do you have anything else? Uh, no, sir. He Pretty well covered. Same thing you were looking at? Okay. Yes, sir. Oh. I just wanted to have the property owner have some responsibility if we had to deal with this water line in the future that it wouldn't be borne totally by the uh, taxpayers. Okay. Okay, so we have a motion and a second. Any more discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Okay, that brings us to reports. Nika. <coughs> Bob. Chief, you got to be beaming from ear to ear hearing that testimony by one of your own. I'm just glad to see Terry's doing well. Isn't that the truth? God bless him. 
Linda. Chief Carbo. No, sir. How are we doing? We're supposed to get some good rain tomorrow. Yeah, we still need a lot, a lot of rain, and getting a little bit of rain each week is helping, at least helping from losing more water. So we're, we're hoping this projection is that we may have a little bit more uh, rain this spring than we thought at first. But. Well, Carol, you're our ray of hope on all this. So we, you're very important to us, as you well know. <laughs> Donna, Brenda, Councilman Durham, nothing more. Councilman Corinna, excuse me. Nothing, Mayor. Councilman Gilmore. Folks, if you have a second, um, hop on the city website. You'll find at the bottom center a way to apply for this year's Citizens Fire Academy. And if it's mostly as good as the Police Fire Academy, I know there's a little bit of, you know, a little bit of rivalry. Um, I think it'll be pretty outstanding. And in fact, I'm going to be participating myself, so I, I, I expect that bar to be raised pretty high. But, Chief, I'm looking forward to it, and I hope uh, we have plenty of resident turnout to participate. Mr. King. No, sir. Councilman Ferguson. Yes, sir. A couple of different categories. Um, first of all, I uh, want to make sure everybody's aware they can go to the city's website and fill out an application to be a part of the 2025 Planning Committee. Uh, that's a very important um, opportunity to have input and guidance into the future of our city and uh, would encourage anyone who has a sincere interest to um, consider volunteering to uh, be involved in that. Uh, secondly, um, I'm kind of finally back in the saddle. Um, I, it took a little longer than I thought it would, but that means that I actually can do the MCL report tonight for a change. <laughs> <laughs> so, so that's your clue that I'm back in the saddle. Um, February 15th and 16th. Oh, that's already passed. Forget that. I'm not back in the saddle. Um, <laughs> a little bit shaky now. <laughs> Slap me. Um, February 22nd, Louisville Lake Symphony, <clears throat> I ought to know this one, has their uh, Young Artist Competition. That's the Friday night, this coming Friday only. They don't do that <clears throat> concert on Friday and Sunday. Um, the Flower Mound JCs on the 23rd uh, has a children's magic show. I believe that's a fundraiser. Uh, YT YHTC Murder Mystery Dinner Theater has a show in the black box on that same date. Um, the Louisville Civic Corral also has a show that evening entitled Let Beauty Awake. Uh, that will not be at the MCL Grand. That's at uh, Episcopal Church of the Annunciation. Um, but since they're one of our arts groups, I'll point that out. Uh, we have a jazz concert on the 24th by Boy Katendig, I believe is how you say it. That's at the MCL Grand, and I believe that's also a fundraiser. And then uh, State of the City's uh, luncheon coming up at the Louisville Convention Center on the 26th. And that's it. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Councilman Vaughn? <coughs> Mayor, just one item. <coughs> You and Councilman Gilmore talked about the LISD, and I just had one item. I'd like to also congratulate LISD for their participation in the HEB Excellence in Education program. Uh, they finished as one of the five finalists, and as a result, received a $5,000 grant from HEB and I don't know what the result of the competition is but against the other five participants if they were to win uh, their program would receive one hundred thousand dollars right well, thank you thank you sir look counselor <coughs> Julie officer we certainly appreciate you being here again tonight we appreciate everything you do for us sir and Terry, we really do appreciate you taking your time out uh, to come forward and, and, and thank your fellow team members. And uh, it's well deserved, but we thank you very much for doing that, taking your time to do that. And Cleve, we want to thank you for filling in for us tonight and uh, give everyone our best wishes. Thank you, sir. Well, and I did want to mention that we had an excellent retreat. It was actually finished up two weekends ago. Uh, we had a great Thursday, a great Friday, and a pretty good Saturday. <laughs> The reason I say pretty good Saturday, it was going great. We had a couple of talks, and then we didn't get out of there until 6 o'clock on Saturday night, the latest I've ever been on a Saturday at a retreat. But it, it was a good retreat. Certainly want to thank our council 
for all the uh, work and hours that you put into it, and want to thank the staff for all the preparation that you did and all the people that worked on that. With that, in accordance with Texas Government Code Subchapter D, Section 551.071, Legal Issues Related to Camelot Landfill, Consultation with Attorney, Section 551.071, Consultation with Attorney, Pending Litigation, City of Louisville versus Page Sutherland Page LP and PSP Architects Engineers, Inc. Case number 2012-30864-211. Two hundred and eleventh Judicial District of Denton County, Texas, and in Section five five one point zero seven two Real Estate Property Acquisition, and Section five five one point zero eight seven Economic Development Deliberation regarding Economic Development Negotiation. We will now convene into closed session. Not saying the charges were correct. We tried. <laughs> we'll convene back in regular session. Is there action to be taken, Council? Move to adjourn. Second. I have a motion by, <clears throat> to adjourn by Councilman Ferguson and a second by Councilman Vaughn. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Next time. Two weeks.